Andrew, my name is Finium. Yeah, nice, nice to meet you as well. How goes your Monday morning? It goes all right. Got, you, got a extra shift at work. So oh, nice. Considering you know, it's on the server, so it's patio service. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my leaves on today, but I'm like, whatever, I'll be at least. You're working too. That's good. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what to anticipate, but it's not, uh, it's not quite balmy yet. No. You know, I thought this is at least a better measure instead of just shutting you guys down right away. Mm -hmm. Well, like all together. Yeah. But it's a weird dynamic when I see patios full. And when I usually see patios full, I'm thinking, man, it must be bustling inside, but it's a ghost town inside, right? <laughs> yeah. What's been funny is that, like, this weekend, there were some people that were calling, and they're like, are you guys serving inside? And we're like, no. And then I said to one customer, I was like, do you know where it is? Who is serving inside? And they're like, oh, thanks for your, thanks. See you later. I'm like, yeah. like say in tipping and stuff because it is a bit of an extension of you guys um, service like yes and no okay. I actually was quite shocked on Friday which was the first day and I had a, this gentleman yeah. who had so much attitude and like animosity about he the fact that he had to sit outside and drink his beer and eat his food and I was just hey. like you know this isn't my choice either right wow. And he was just like, yeah, I'd rather, like, and he would throw out things. I'm like, how's your day going? Like, yeah. pretty uh, pretty crappy. I don't have to sit out here and eat my yeah. beer instead of inside a nice establishment. And I was yeah. like, sorry to hear that. Like, yeah. yeah, you're right. Why are you here then? Bring yeah. your own lunch. Take it to go. Wow. We have meal kits. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, how are you going to give me? I'm minimum paid. Wow. I'm a minimum wage paid person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not right? like you. And like we try to accommodate, we like went and bought like 10 more heaters. Yeah. We got a patio extension, yeah. like just to try and keep us busy. Yeah. You know and to make only... it easier for them. Right, exactly. And there's only so much we can do. So I'm like, oh, is this how people are going to play this? Wow. That must <laughs> be like, really... I mean, he was just like kind of, he was just the one guy. Other people, yeah. they're like, they they sit there curled up in their jackets yeah. and stuff. And they're like, thank you so much. Oh. And like, they understand. And, and that's beautiful. And they're, yeah. It's almost they're like they're doing it. Gracious. To make it work for you guys too, right? Yeah. They're like we want to see you guys keep going, kind of. Yeah, thing. that's awesome. Exactly. And the support is nice when it's there. Yeah. But it was interesting. I was a little bit. I mean, I worked in the industry for ten years. So yeah. You're not surprised anymore, and just when you think like I was joking with my coworkers, I was like, you know that the, there's that veil um, over the door when any customer, even when I'm a customer in a yeah. restaurant, common sense yeah. out the door. Yeah. You don't get to bring your common sense as a customer with you uh, inside restaurants. And then really? I was like, you know, you don't think it could get any worse. People yeah. ask you stupid questions. People get mad at you for stupid yeah. reasons. Yeah. And then a pandemic happens. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh my gosh. That's just amp this up like 100 yeah. fold, right? Yeah. Times 10 with extra like, restrictions <laughs> and all this stuff. And I was like, oh my God, people are worse. Oh, man. I'm a yeah. savage. I'm like, all right, why are you here? Uh, and it must be really difficult to sustain the rest of their stay there. Yeah. Like with service and yeah i always say like if there is one thing for good customer service absolutely like that's my job initially but there's also another thing for being a good customer mm -hmm. and i think that goes a long way too like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. and i've i always tell people who yeah. are like who blow me away like yeah. obviously i'm in this i've been in here for 10 years yeah yeah for a reason like yeah. people on the worst of days people are the worst but then on the best of the days i've met the coolest people yeah. from all over the world who yeah. make friends i've yeah. made like lifetime friends yeah. in the industry yeah and i'm always like sure to tell customers when yeah. i'm like hey thank you guys so much it was a pl like it was yeah. genuinely nice to have you guys at the table that's brilliant right okay so um because i don't eat out very often and whenever
whenever I do get to eat out, it's like a huge deal. Like I, so that's inaccessible. What makes an amazing stellar customer? Um, I, for my part, I'm thinking common sense is of course you're a decent person, you're pretty common solid sense, and stuff. Yeah. Like honestly, politeness. It's like it's the it's the things that you would already know to have, mm -hmm. but for some reason there's a little bit of entitlement when it comes to being a customer, mm -hmm. which. You know, I've had service, I've had really crappy service where I've like been able to like take a look around and be like, okay, is this person like having a hard time mm -hmm. and I'm making it harder on them mm -hmm. or what's going on? Mm -hmm. And you know, there's been mm -hmm. both of those kinds of scenarios. Mm -hmm. Um, honestly, I think it's just, it kind of, it's just how you vibe with them too. Like sometimes I have tables that aren't into the small talk. They're very shy and just there for like their own personal mm. and I, I respect their boundaries mm -hmm, and that's mm -hmm. totally fine and there yeah. are days where yeah. I'm I'm not into the small talk yeah. and I'm just like how's your day going and they're yeah. like giving me their life story and I'm like yeah. oh crap that was the wrong <laughs> question to ask today <laughs> like just uh, a little on the irritable side or something like that and yeah. then and then they get it too and yeah. it's just I think it's just how you vibe with each other sure. on like a personal level sure. without I don't know making one uncomfortable mm -hmm. I guess so I know like in my work, like when I'm talking, well, when I'm making suggestions for other Uber drivers, one of the things I say is, it's helpful to know in the first 30 seconds yeah. what kind of ride it's gonna be by reading their cues. Right. If you came in here, for example, and you weren't open to conversation, there's some cues that you'll be giving right. that it's helpful for me to read. And even as I take those cues in, it's really helpful to also remember that it's not personal. Exactly. It's not personal in that, hey, what you need most right now isn't to be, you know, like in this zone of engaging socially when you're not having that extension for it. And so I totally get that. And the tough part is how to be able, like you're saying, to give each other space when you need it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, for sure. And like other times I think it's just like absolute off the draw. Some people think that paying me in compliments is what gets me by and while I do appreciate mm -hmm. you notoriating my mm -hmm. service and mm -hmm. how awesome I was the 10% mm -hmm. says otherwise mm -hmm. do you know what I mean I hear you. I hear and I'm you. just like Ugh. and you yeah. can tell like you can kind of there's those typical like stereotypes like age and stuff like that and if they're old British people they oh. don't even because I see in the UK like their other countries That's don't right. have tipping systems That's and right. I've actually had people ask me they're like hey sorry I know this is like a personal question but I'm from so and so yeah. and we don't tip out there so what, what what's appropriate for you yeah. and all I say in that in that moment I'm yeah. like well we've had a great time and yeah. they're like yeah. yeah I'm like well these are the options that we give you yeah. so you know it is a team effort here and yeah. I do tip out seven percent yeah so anything over seven like you tip over seven percent that's yeah. what goes into my pocket and they're gotcha. like okay great awesome yeah. and then they'll put that in there and yeah. like that's when, even when they just ask yeah. and even still then if they leave me like a smaller tip that sure. doesn't ever bother me sure, sure. They acknowledged. That's not, yeah, they, yeah it's acknowledged and at the end of the day i didn't have to tip out of my own pocket mm -hmm. it's the no tips where you're like <laughs> yeah yeah help yeah. and they're just like oh well why don't they pay you more and i'm like oh great question <laughs> let's go <laughs> you want to go ask them together i, I would like to be down there with you too <laughs> like it's and that one's the fun conversation too because i yeah. get other people that understand that part yeah. and they're just like oh yeah no it's not like i'll like get a lot of australian people before they go out to the mountains and they're like oh it's not like that back home mm -hmm. they're like no when i'm in the service industry or yeah. even i have a couple of co-workers that have worked abroad and yeah. in other countries yeah. and some they worked in australia sure. and nicaragua right you definitely come for the experience and you don't have to worry about working for that tip because you're just having your employees are paid a proper wage to do what they do and so mm -hmm. just, everybody's having a great time question i have for you uh -huh. so you're um one of i'm just going to state as it is you're one of the attractive specimens um how do you indulge in your work because you enjoy working with people you've done it for a decade now but also keep from giving guys, especially the wrong destination that they would like to jump to when oh. they're paid attention because um, of service. So how do you enjoy your job, yeah. but keep those boundaries in check? Um, well, my name is, well, my name is Cassandra, but okay. I go by Cass okay. and I just call myself Sassy Cass and I'm very abrupt and upfront. So when they do, if they do yeah. start to approach the line, you yeah. can always tell. Yeah. It's always the same kinds of guys. <laughs> um, in fact, I had like I'm an intrigued. incident a few weeks ago where yeah. these regular 
members who usually would come in on a lunch time would drink cran and sodas, have their salad, and leave. Okay. Like that's the kind of guys they're on. they are. Okay. Okay. They came in on a Thursday night right before last call. Now, mind you, last call nowadays is 9:45, so yes. it's not like it's breezy late on yeah. a Thursday night or anything. Yeah. But still, yeah. they came in wasted. Yeah. They all felt entitled because they come in all the time, and I have served them before. The one guy asked for my phone number. I shut them out immediately. I was like, nope, not today. And then I was like, what are you having to drink? You guys get one beer and like water and food if you guys are ordering it because we're doing last call right now. And they're all like, oh, blah, blah, blah. like they don't like when I don't play fun with them. But that's those would be the situations where if you tip me zero for that, I don't care because I've walked away with my dignity. Like, and you walked away with your what? With my dignity. Ah, I like that. Okay. Right. Yeah. And these guys at one point I looked over I was taking a payment at another table and they were they were telling me how sorry they felt for me having to deal with that 